chapter 6, Mishnah 5. We have learned in chapter 5, Mishnah 2 and 5 that mechatas must be made from spring water and it must be sanctified in a utensil that is defined as a kli. This is learned from a verse in the Torah which states, He shall put upon the ashes spring water in a kli. See Bar, chapter 19, verse 17. This verse refers to spring water as Maim Chaim, literally living water. This term indicates that it is not enough for the water to have come from a spring. The water must be part of a running, living spring at the moment it is drawn into the Kli where it will be sanctified. Living spring water is also required for the purification procedures of a Zav, who must immerse in spring water, and of a Mitzorah, whose body must be sprinkled with spring water. The Mishnah gives an example of spring water that is not living water. Someone directs the waters of a spring into the vat of a wine press or into shallow pools of water. Once the vat or pool is full, he blocks the flow of water from the spring, breaking the connection between the spring and the water in the vat or pool. Once the connection is broken, the water in the vat or pool does not qualify as living water, and thus that water is invalid for Zavim to immerse in, and it is invalid to use for sprinkling with Soraim, and it is invalid for sanctifying as Mechatas. Before the connection is broken, though, the water in the pit is considered living water, and a person may draw water from the pit for mechatas. The Mishnah now states whether one may sanctify the water as mechatas while it is in the pit, while the connection is unbroken. One may not sanctify the water in the pit because it was not drawn into a kli. The water for mechatas must be drawn from the spring into a kli. A pit in the ground does not qualify as a kli. Therefore, even though the water in the pit is drawn directly from the spring, since the connection is unbroken and thus it is living water, one may not use it for mechatas.